welcome to this video. So, I've just been a little out of the zone in the last couple of days. So, I thought I would show you guys some trees. <laughs> <laughs> while I speak. So the sun is in Virgo right now. It just got there on August 22nd and when the sun's in Virgo this is the time to be focusing on minding your body, mind, and soul. So being clearer in every thing that you do, following the, you know, the hints that your body is trying to tell you of what you need to nourish yourself and stay clear. So Virgo is amazing for eliminating toxicity and clearing out clutter and organizing and keeping things in order and is amazing for analyzation, uh, especially of the details of any situation. It's very good at simplifying complex things and basically creating order out of chaos. And with the sun in Virgo, just doing anything that is helpful to your body is a good idea at this time. And I came up with a little song uh, before this video, and it's like, body, mind, and soul, body, mind, and soul, got to keep aligned with our body, mind, and soul, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> So I just thought I'd sing that for you real quick because I thought it was cool. Um, so another thing that Virgo rules is your daily responsibilities. So anything that you do on a daily basis is going to be emphasized during this time. You'll probably just keep things in a more natural rhythm, a more natural order. I feel like the earth signs are really good at routine and stability and it does really fall into a rhythm. And, of course, everything in this world is a rhythm. And that's another thing I've been thinking a lot about lately is how can we become more in sync with rhythms? How can we become more in sync with each other? How can we become more in sync with everything on this planet? And I think Virgo cares a lot about being more in line with the planet and nature. At least the higher side of Virgo, for sure, is very aligned with nature and the natural rhythms that nature provides and what nature provides for food as well. So paying attention to what it is your body is desiring, as I said earlier, and that's a part of the natural cycles and rhythms as well, is eating what feels right in that moment. And of course, going outside is always good. <laughs> Especially because when Virgo isn't outside, it can get caught up in the mind a lot easier and start overanalyzing situations and obsessing over details and maybe going into self-criticism or even criticism of others. So it's important to find your center and be as in tune with yourself as possible so you don't go into those crazy thoughts and over -an analysis of situations when it's really just um, not as necessary to pay attention to those sorts of things. It's better to chill and, uh, you know, yeah, stay aligned with body, mind, and soul. <laughs> so yeah, and then um, today which is August 23rd, Saturn is conjunct Mars in Sagittarius. So 
a lot of what Saturn conjunct Mars is bringing is this um, so they're they're very different from each other because Mars wants to move very quickly it wants to really it's very strong-willed and wants to move forward quickly in the direction in which it wants to move while Saturn wants to take its time and be very methodical about whatever goals it has so what could happen is uh, Saturn could give Mars that feeling of restriction around how much energy you have to get things done or there could be even a feeling of impatience because maybe things are blocking you when you try to move quickly in the direction you're wanting to go. Saturn wants you to be more methodical. The other possibility is that Mars will give Saturn a boost to move in a very long-term direction, but only taking those methodical first few steps. And finally having the fire to get started on a long-term goal. So it's really about asking yourself where you're going, what is it you're trying to move towards, and making sure to really kind of align those energies too. Like really get clear about the direction you're moving towards and having the certainty to step forward in that direction. So what a, another analogy I thought of with Saturn and Mars is that Saturn is like a boss and Mars is like a leader and this is something you can ask yourself in any situation. Are you being more of a boss or more of a leader? Are you telling people what to do or are you being an example for others? And how would you like to be in the world? Uh, because you could go either way with that <laughs> in what you are doing, whatever it is you're doing. But this is really good leader energy, really good strong authoritative energy. And of course, this could also manifest as having an issue with authority at this time because Mars doesn't like that sense of authority being put upon it. It wants to be the leader and be in charge of itself. And Saturn might be causing it to feel restricted. And so that could be manifesting as well. And of course, this is being noticed at this time with a lot of different things going on. But, and the other thing, since it's in Sagittarius, is that we could be really pushy about what our beliefs are. We may be a bit more strong in our beliefs and that's fine, you know, as long as you're not trying to push it on to anybody else. So it's important to stay strong in what you believe in and to practice what you preach, but when it comes to what others believe, it's always best to live and let live and enjoy what it is that you like to believe without forcing anybody else to believe anything that you believe, you know? <laughs> and then on August 30th, Mercury goes retrograde in Virgo. And with Mercury retrograde in Virgo, this is definitely a time to go within ourselves a bit more and to take in and analyze what you have been learning during Mercury and Virgo so far and digesting any information you've been picking up on, reflecting upon that information and really just absorbing it and coming into more of an alignment with your 
mental faculties and energetically aligning what your soul is wanting to learn and what it wants to take from what you have been learning. So you could even be learning more about your own health and well-being and things of that nature. And when you, when it's retrograde, it's a good time to listen to yourself above all others right now and to pay attention to what your own body is desiring rather than paying too much attention to what everybody else says because of course there's a lot of information out there about health and wellness especially during these times so following your own sense is really a good idea right now because then you can kind of implement what you've already been learning and kind of take in, you know, your own kind of guidance, I guess, or whatever, kind of listening to yourself, you know, based on what you've already been learning anyway. Because Virgo is really good at picking up on all the details of what nutrients are necessary and what, uh, you know, it's really good at understanding complex information and you may have been learning complex information from outside sources about health and wellness and now it's really a time to like integrate what you've been learning and reflect upon it and just really discard anything that doesn't actually go with your own internal compass. And then that also can apply to any other information as well. And of course the other thing you should ask yourself too is what uh, content have you been reading? What content have you been watching? and ask yourself whether or not it's serving your higher purpose or serving your energy in any way. So eliminating anything that's really dissonant within yourself, eliminating anything that's not resonating with yourself and really just really going within yourself some more to get clarity once more about what you're here to learn, what you're here to teach, what you're here to understand, and like how you're meant to serve the world in some way too. So it's just a good idea to just chill, you know? I feel like it's a good time to chill. Good time to meditate, reflect, and look at things from a new perspective, from that internal perspective. And then, August 30th, as well, Venus, moves into Libra and Venus and Libra is good because Venus rules Libra so this is a good time for love and relationships and understanding other people's point of view and resolving conflict making amends with anybody you've had issues with and also it's good for music and harmony in the sense of beauty and just amazing like sense of color and patterns and you know art and poetry and any, everything that you know brings beauty to the world is favored during this time and enjoying the people in your life and Libra is the best mediator of the zodiac <laughs> because it's able to see like the opposing point of view ultimately Venus and Libra is about finding the peace love and harmony in this world and enjoying the beauty that surrounds us all I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate it. Have an awesome week.